This is number six from the 2004 exam. So for part A, we are going to draw a slope field. And it looks like our slope should be equal to zero when x is zero. So I'm going to fill those in here. And then these should be on a nice diagonal. This should be here. Those will be negative. And zero. And these should be just a little bit steeper. And there is the slope field for part B. We have to describe all points for which the slopes are positive. Okay, so the slopes are positive whenever y is greater than 1. You can kind of see that here, that this will be positive when y is greater than 1. But also, we have the condition that x cannot be equal to 0 because the slopes along the y-axis will all be equal to 0. Part C, we're looking for our particular solution. We start off with dy dx is x squared times y minus 1 if we separate our variables. integrate and then they tell us that f of 0 is equal to 3 so we have the ln of 3 minus 1 which is 2 the absolute value of 2 is 2 and that's when x is 0 so c is equal to ln 2 so we've got 1 third x cubed plus ln 2 then what we're going to do is exponentiate so that we've got y minus 1 equals we can kind of divide up that right side to make this e to the 1 3rd x cubed times e to the ln 2 and e to the ln 2 is equal to 2 so we've got 2 e to the 1 3rd x cubed then we have to decide if this is going to be a positive or a negative. And we decide that by looking at the initial condition that f of 0 should be equal to 3. And that's only going to happen here, not here. So we get 2 e to the 1 3rd x cubed plus 1 as our solution.